All right, guys, this is the Fantasy Sports Boss with another Fantasy Football Trend and Mirage. I wanted to talk about Randall Cobb today because last week against the New York Giants, Randall Cobb had a turn-back-the-clock game uh, where he caught nine passes uh, for 90-plus um, yards and really was the number one target throughout the game against uh, against the Giants with uh, you know by quarterback Aaron Rodgers there. And uh, it brought back a lot of good memories to the time. Uh, the first stint that Cobb had with the Packers when he was a uh, Pro Bowl-worthy receiver, um, very, very heavily targeted uh, wideout for Rodgers for a number of seasons. And in PPR leagues, he went as high as a low-end wide receiver two at times because of the attention that he got uh, and, and the high allotment of catches that he brought in on a weekly basis. Um, after he left Green Bay, though, the, the, the fun times dried up for Cobb, and he really has just been a non-factor through all the locales that he uh, – arrived at until uh, even when he, including coming back to Green Bay last season, wasn't much of a factor. And this year as well, uh, no more than three targets in any game or three catches in any game leading up to this game against the Giants. So now the question um, has to be asked, is this, a, is this a start of a trend with Cobb now? Is he back in the circle of trust with Rodgers? Is he going to start um, uh, continuing rather being a high, heavily targeted wideout uh, that had, carries a special uh, you know, special appeal in PPR leagues. <clears throat> well, my answer to that is that this is definitely, in my opinion, a mirage. Uh, I think it was a one-game blip. I mean, certainly Cobb uh, has the opportunity going forward to put a couple of games like this, um, you know, in, in his in his fantasy football holster. But with Romeo Dobbs really getting set to take off, with uh, Alan Lazard serving as the main red zone weapon uh, for Rodgers, you know, with Christian Watson, who was out with injury last week, eventually coming back to the field and also uh, needing to be developed. Robert Tunyon, a tight end, who's still going to be involved. Not He hasn't been involved as much as I thought he would be to this point, but Tanyan still will be a factor. And then there's Aaron Jones out of the backfield, who's a superb receiver. So in my opinion, uh, Randall Cobb, I know was enticing, uh, interesting to look at, maybe p worth picking him up this week. I don't think you chase Randall Cobb. I think it was a mirage, that performance. I don't think there's any sustainability to it. And I think he's just going to go back to being uh, just a waiver wire guy. All right, hit that subscribe, hit that notification button. More videos on the way soon.